very quickly, three features that, that we see that are um, strategic features in most of the national strategies. The first is taking account of your starting point. Countries are starting at very different places in terms of AI, in terms of the R&D that they're doing, the skills that they have, and, and this has an effect on the strategy, which makes sense. Um, and that's not to say that countries that are further behind are at too much of a disadvantage, because these leapfrog opportunities, I think, are very exciting. And you can jump over a lot of legacy policies that encumber uh, countries that are at a more developed stage. The second is strategic priorities. Different countries have begun to select different types of AI as the fundamental focus of their strategy. Take Brazil, for instance. Highlights are put on health and on urban mobility. On France, it's about uh, health and transportation, but the environment as well. And in, in Argentina, they're focusing on underrepresented pop populations. The last key element to many strategies is the element of international coordination. This is inherently a global uh, technology uh, where, again, a lot of the cutting edge research is highly concentrated. And that means cooperating and coordinating of across different countries are really important. And again, this is where efforts such as the G20 presidency this year play a big role. 